Nishashen, I am this size, no one can stop me. Not so fast, fiend. Hey Phantoms, welcome back to Astro Phantom Television. This week, we have two more DC Primal Age figures. We've covered these a little bit before in our uh, Batcave review. Yeah. These were made by Funko a year or two ago. And, well, we really like them. We're uh, really into the Masters of the WWE Universe and Masters of the Universe Origins figures. And these fit in very well with that, as well as, of course, the vintage Masters of the Universe figures, because that's what they're based on. So, first, I guess let's go ahead and start with Batman. Now, this is not the typical Batman as shown on the art here in the back, the, uh, the blue and gold color scheme. That is the, uh, the universally available figure. This silver and black color scheme was available only at Target stores. And these were actually still in stock late here in 2020, after all this time. These were still in stock on the Target website. So we picked this up, just wanted to have a Batman for the Bat Cave. We sure did. Yeah, so that's what we got. Um, why don't you go ahead and open them up? All right. Opine. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Nicely done. Strong glue, huh? A little bit. Hopefully Not that bodes well enough. for the quality of the figure because, you know, as we've said in the past. Uh, these are a little bit spotty when it comes to actually not immediately breaking, either in the package or immediately out of the package. Alright, there he is. There he is, yep. There he is. Alright, so his accessories are also this uh, silvery kind of gray oh color. Okay. rather than the golden color that the typical DC Primal Age figure comes with. Shield. Let's, take a, let's take a closer look at him real quick. So he has this really cool fur cape. That's kind of the immediate thing when you pick him up. Not, not all the figures have a cape. And he has a, uh, uh, it is, you know, a plasticky, rubbery material. But it has a molded uh, fur look to it, which is kind of neat. I assume, you know, in the Savage Lands, he's kind of killed some sort of big creature mm. and uh, skinned them for his coat. Mm -hmm. He's got the big, chunky, uh, kind of Dark Knight Returns style Batman logo rather than the, some of the thinner logos throughout the year. It's probably my favorite Batman logo, the big, the chunky uh, Frank Miller bat logo. All right, his accessories are a sword and shield like so many of the other typical um, figures. Thank you. The sword has the bat wing hilt and the I love that sword. worn blade. See how well it fits. There Vanessa. we go. He has a nice tight grip, which is good. All right. His head turns. Mm-hmm. It uh, cuts out the arms as well. I mean, you know, you, if you've ever played with a, a vintage Master of the Universe figure, you kind of know what you're getting into with these guys. Yeah. Now, just now, when I turned the waist, there was like a, uh, a paint sticking, <laughs> giving away. So, that obviously, it's been sitting in that case for a couple of years now. Uh, legs seem like they're not going to fall off. That's nice. Very yeah. cool. All right. He seems like he might be one of the... The better quality ones. I don't know if that's related to being made in a different batch and being shipped off to Target rather than the standard figures, but he seems like he is a nice quality. We'll update you in the future if he uh, if his legs snap off of the pegs like our uh, Joker figure immediately did. Funko really likes you. And we're really excited 
to finally have a mount from this series. There were uh, a couple of different mounts made, three different ones. Now, we didn't get the, uh, the uh, wolf that goes with Batman. We decided to go ahead. This We were waiting for this to come back and stop for the longest time. This was... 40 and $50 yeah. on Amazon and on eBay. Mm -hmm. And this finally came back in stock on Amazon for 20 just about a week ago. Crypto the Super we, Dog slash Wolf. We picked it up immediately. Oh Crypto the Super Dog. Probably one of the more famous uh, animal pets in, mm -hmm. in uh, what do you say, in all of comic books. Mm -hmm. So this art is like um, the, the same. It's all the same drawing, except it just has Crypto on there. Uh, you think maybe they'd put the other mounts back here? Like they put the uh, you know the the Batman mount and the Joker beast, which I mean we're definitely going to pick those up at some point. Different series, different series. I think this is like the most recently released of the mounts, so I think you're right. No, mm -hmm. that this is a different series. It's so weird that Superman would have only been in the second series, though. I think this might have been the final piece released for. The DC Prime Age series, which would also make it, I believe, the final uh, Funko figure in this style before they discontinue the line, uh, which is sad. We're kind of, you know, we've become big fans of this line. What about so the we're, thrillers? We're kind of sad. What's that? The thriller guys, like the slashers. Those actually were like some of the very first figures they put out. Oh. The Savage World stuff was oh. very early. All right, so he has a cool background. Make sure to save that. He's got like a rocky kind of drawing going on. Very, very on. cool. I didn't expect to have to use the lamp scissors. You may have to grab some scissors for that. Let's see here. Oh, wait, no, that's behind some tape here. This might just take a second. To get him. The tape is more like that um, loose, not very sticky, gluey tape. It's not the very uh, tight. Uh, Packing tape you might get. So that's that's good news. Yes. By opening that, I'm gonna point out what I really like about Batman. See, why I really like this Batman and that I wanted to get this one instead of the blue one is because it's very special, you know. And this is the sword that it comes with. It's really cool to me because of how thick it is. I love the more thick swords, kind of like in Final Fantasy games. I love that sword for being so big, and like, um, I love the shield, the shield with the chunky Bat Batman logo, like Baba said, a very cool Batman logo. I love his boots, very ancient looking, and his mask, um, looks like it's made out of, like, leather or something, instead of, like, normal, like, skin tight rubbery material in most Batman toys, you know? Almost there. Oh, wait. There he is. There. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> He's here. Okay, so. Here he comes. We're not taking him out of the box yet. This is our first look at Primal Age Crypto the Super Dog. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. He's got some very cool details. He's got red eyes. He's got a cape. Um, wow. He's extremely cool looking. Is it cape? He's got removal? the Superman logo mm -hmm. on his uh, you know, collar. I guess that's what you can really call this. It's mm -hmm. you know, where his cape joins his neck. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be uh, walking this dog around on a leash anytime soon from the look of him. I think he's maybe a little a little bit too uh, Sc powerful scary. for this. Scary and small. <laughs> now, one thing that I was curious about is, is this cape removable to kind of turn him into a, dog. a little bit more of a generic... Like wolf. Type of character. White wolf kind of uh, creature. Evil. Oh, oh, look at that. It is. It is. Okay. Not very possible at all. <laughs> no, I think, well, the um, the original, uh, you know, uh, the original like Battle Cat and Panthor <laughs> figures were not posable either mm. uh, from the 80s. Sounds like metal. They were, uh, they were static you know, <laughs> figures that you could put them on. Get back, fiend! <laughs> hey, wait, you're just crypto. How did you get out your cape? Did you take a bath? Oh, he's shaking! He's shaking! I think he took a bath. He's shaking so on Batman. Is a uh, very nice, thick rubber. Uh, this is not. I mean, this. That's like you know. 
yeah. a quarter inch thick rubber. This is not going to be uh, tearing or anything anytime soon. So the, the paint is nice on it. Yeah. Has this really cool uh, ragged look. Again, everything in the Savage Worlds oh boy. Uh, line this looks like it's oh. been lived in. Cut me open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's go ahead and yeah. do a quick comparison of these uh, Savage World figures to some of the newer Origins line from uh, Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have, uh, just released this year, the Origins Beast Man and the Origins Battle Cat. Uh, these, you know, this is not the vintage Battle Cat, so we can't make a direct comparison to that. But I would like to see you know, both the size and scale and overall feel. We can kind of compare those mm -hmm. two things. Now, um, um, Battle Cat might be bigger and like kind of more vibrant and colorful and what kids would expect to be more powerful. But this is a very vicious face. Also, cat versus dog. Not gonna end well for the cat. And um, not and Matt. It also looks like a more mean face on the um, crypto. Let's see how well the uh, the figures sit on the opposite mounts. Yeah, so match. here we're going to have Funko Savage World figure on Battle Cat. <laughs> okay, looking and very an cool. Origins figure. Oh, he looks so cool on Crypto. On Crypto. Okay, this is why I picked Beast Man because I thought he looked so cool on Crypto, and I was right. Look at this. Okay, he seems to he seems to fit on there pretty well. And so he's a little bit riding high in the saddle. Side. He's kind of maybe he's a little bit saddle sore. He's he's kind of uh, lifting his butt up off off of the saddle there. Um, that's that's Beast fine. Beast Man too, but don't worry, not to but, worry. But like you know. Just on, as far as like for play value or whatever, I, it, it sits on it just great. Beast Man died. No. One thing, another thing that I'm curious about is if we can kind of swap these accessories around. Got Let's him. see if Got him. we can take. Oh no. It's gonna look weird. <laughs> Wait. This saddle is also removable. So oh. Let's see if we can swap these around. <laughs> okay, he's gonna look cool with that cape, but I don't know about him with the mask. <laughs> look at him with the mask. <laughs> okay, so the mask is not. Poor crypto. Super. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not because of the ears. The ears are being standing up. Being um, standing up. It's not really, not really right for him. But the this saddle. I have, I have, I have a good feeling about the saddle. Mm -hmm. Probably never had something this nice on his body before. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not bad. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I know where this mask can go. <laughs> Whee! So he looks great. Mm -hmm. He looks absolutely fantastic. Let's see what's doing with the mask too. He's now uh, mm -hmm. Super Cat. Super Cat! Da -da 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 -da! Super Cat! Yeah, Battle Cat looks really, really good <laughs> in the Superman cape. Uh, Crypto just looks ticks off that he stole his clothes. Crypto, <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a little bit, it's not fitting his form. A little it's bit not, weird. It wasn't molded for him, right? But... I think that it definitely does. I think maybe he would be a better fit. It definitely does work as a saddle, and the red color it it, it really fits the the Superman theme. Very cool. So the masks not swappable. The head armor not swappable, but the saddle and the cape they uh they look really good on each other. Nice. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Phantoms, that was our look today at Crypto and Batman. Thank you for joining us this week for this look at these uh, Funko Primal Age figures. Um, the, the quality of them is, is again, very nice. Uh, these just are so much fun if you like. If you see these Master of the Universe figures on the shelves and you're thinking, you know, I wish there was more accessories and, and more fig more characters, more figures, more play sets. And the, the Savage World stuff is really cool and they're still available all over online for 10, 10 bucks a figure, 15 bucks a figure for some of the more expensive ones. So I would jump on those now because I think that uh, once these Origins figures start gaining even more popularity, they're already sold out in a lot of places. But 
once they start really gaining popularity and getting everything out there, I think you're going to have a hard time finding some of the Funko stuff. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week, Phantoms. Delicious. Bye.